it's time for you to flex those creative muscles in today's Masterpiece Challenge. The theme is fairy tale and folklore. We want you to create a look that takes direct inspiration from childhood stories and ancient mythology. Your look must include an organic material and we'll be looking to see how these are incorporated into your final design. You have four hours, but unlike most fairy tales which begin once upon a time, this one starts now! Ready, set, style! <laughs> What I'm seeing here is actually Lisa's hair when she came in this morning, you know, when she hadn't brushed it. So I can understand why that would scare you. Okay. But I think she could have been a bit more scary. This is very round, it's almost perfect. Don't be afraid to destroy it. You and Raymond have both taken completely opposite ends of the spectrum, but I get the story through here. The silhouette is really, really good. I think it's pretty spectacular. The gold beans are fantastic. The technique is amazing, but I'm not quite getting the beanstalk. It's very heavy here. Your braids are done beautifully. I love how you've weaved that green through there. It looks pretty impressive, but I'm not getting millstone, because a millstone has a much smaller circle in the middle. Yeah. And because you have so many other details, each detail gets a bit lost. I get the apple. I kind of love the shape you've done here too, but I'm getting a bit lost with the cage. It's kind of giving me the frame of Cinderella's carriage. And I think that's coming to me because I'm associating the slipper with Cinderella and I'm not really getting from it Snow White. I love the length, but when I see your model walking down here, I don't see the length. It's almost office in the front, party in the back. What I'm confused about is this, like, cow pat that's kind of on the top of the head. She was in a tower, so I'm not sure where this mud comes from. Wow. Pretty incredible. I absolutely love it. I can definitely see the ship there and something's dragging it down. It's really quite impressive. I think you still need to work on just those little polishing touches. It's like a little build-up of spray here. But overall, there's not a lot that I can say that's negative about this. I can really see an artist in you, Molly. Thank you. Teacher's pad, teacher's pad. 